welcome to a new episode um, we have been driving north for a while um, and we're just resting before the action starts tomorrow mm-hmm. it's gonna be a big fish uh, adventure, <laughs> adventure. We'll try to catch something that is uh, really big, if possible. Yep. Um, to get above the three kilo mark is, of course, a goal, and maybe the four kilo mark, which is it's a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. Uh, so we'll see. We're gonna continue to try to do that at least. But uh, we'll just um, start this episode today because we're gonna do something interesting. My boots that I bought a year ago. They just started to crack fall open, apart. yeah, fall apart. So I get sand and gravel inside the boot. So we have some aqua shirt that we will try. They are finally a little bit dry. Yeah, that's Since not often. Did we fish yesterday? Yeah, we fished uh, yesterday. Yeah. But they were almost dried. And then my boots, <laughs> they are really old. Uh, but They're uh, not really old, they're the same as mine. No. no, they are older. older and they are really struggling. So we'll try to... Well, it's really not good because it's really hard to clean. So, you know, you're supposed to clean and uh, now check, clean and dry. And it's really difficult when things, uh, water and gravel and all of that get stuck everywhere inside there. So we try to patch them up a little, uh, just get the obvious uh, holes and yeah, do the best as we can. Yeah, hopefully we will, they will last our last month here. Hopefully. Yeah. Let's see. How I will attack this. Well, it's like, or do you think that's a bad idea? No. If it gets... I think you need to wrap it around yeah. the boot as well. My shoes are done. I have stuffed them with socks and wrapped them with line. It's like a good piece of ham. <laughs> and then a lot of aquasure. I hope it will make them last. You're not afraid that your socks will be glued to the inside? Uh, no. no. Now maybe I am, but I wasn't. <laughs> this hole opens up to like between the inner fabric and the outer fabric of the shoe so a lot of gravel gets stuck in there and they make it all the way and then they get stuck down here it's raining in the mountains we're going to fish tomorrow let's hope it doesn't color the rivers too much well that's it for a shoe repair uh, workshop today. I'll get the car ready and we'll go to bed and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, good morning. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. So, how does it look? Your shoes? Oh, my shoes. Where did you put it? Under, Under the car. In shelter from this night's rain. Looks pretty good. Let's rear did I? Ah. Let's see. Looks pretty good. It looks tight. Let me see the spot where you're glued. Here. I haven't looks like you stitched it. <laughs> yeah. I should have had a knife. Where is I have a knife. Looks pretty good. Looks yeah. solid. Looks like it's well attached to the fabric here. The only way to try it is to to try it. To try. Wow, <laughs> you're smart. Smarter than you look. <laughs> Moment of truth, we are heading in a four-wheel drive road and 
you never really know what to expect until you get on the road hopefully we will be able with our car to drive all the way up we should play a film clip comparing me driving this car to driving the Jeep? Yeah, Aaron's 95 Jeep. <laughs> that we drove in. Uh, that was just fun. Canada, yeah. And this is everything else than fun. It might be more of a problem here going down because this car is so low in the front so dipping down to things is worse than climbing things but that worked that worked How was dinner? So good. So good? Yeah. But it? it's not the best way to eat your dinner. Halfway laying down. Oh, no? But when you don't have a chair and we want to eat inside the tent, this is the best way. <laughs> good morning. Good frozen morning. <laughs> you woke up to the coldest morning. That we have had so far. It's frosty. Frost on the tent. So the sun is now out. It's warming. We uh, started the day by seeing uh, a couple of tents a kilometers upstream. Uh, we don't know if they're fishermen, but we couldn't see any rods, but it's hard to tell. But we do have a couple of good pools up to where we saw them. And now we've just spotted a fish and Vebjorn is preparing his rod. He will start the day today. And of course we are trying with a cicada but we can actually hear them right now but we'll see if it will work this early in the morning After the second rejection of the cicada, I decided to try a very little beetle. I still don't understand why that fish did not sit. I watched it over and over and 
it appears to me that the fly was never in its mouth. After that situation we walked upstream and out of nowhere we spotted a fish down in the river and Tuva was super fast to make a cast at it. We saw a fish that I was quite sure was spooked because it moved so much but Tuva just put the cicada in front of him and it just came. It's a healthy big fish. Just, just no, no, focus on the fish. Okay. I will net it for you when the time comes. I don't know if it's stuck or if it just jammed. I think... Do you see it? Yes, kind of. Is it stuck? I don't know if it's just pushing towards the current. I don't know, baby. I'm, I, I'm afraid it will be stuck, so I think I'll help you. <laughs> Was it a potential four kilos or do you know? I don't know. I'm sick of this. Failing, failing, failing. Tuva was not happy, and for good reasons. That was a really big fish. But only a short distance upstream we spotted new fish. How many fish do you see in this picture? It's one. Two. And three. The top one is small. I ended up hooking that, actually catching that later. Tuva focused on the two below it. Okay, so I was flying tried to film with the drone since it's difficult to film with the camera here so we don't see them much and there's that on the camera I don't see them on the long lens, long lens I don't see them because of the riffles I flew the drone uh, but I don't want to spend too much battery on just flying the drone to film so I landed it and as I landed it Tuva makes a perfect cast and the, the fish takes the fly there was two of them and the one higher up and uh, it was such a big fish definitely the four kilo fish that we're looking for for sure really really big uh, really too bad but it took and it uh, rolled a couple of times and it was off really too bad but took the cicada after all So we had to try some casts where I lost the big, big, big fish and he caught a small one. This will be, I will see if I can show this on the drone footage, how small this one is compared. Because it's really small compared. The other one was really a monster because this one itself is it's not a tiny little trout. It has scars from a bigger fish. Hmm. Cool looking fish though. Yeah. Okay, I'll just let it go. More than two kilos. And that was the small one. Just, I think the fish that you lost there could have been a five kilo fish. Really. 
Okay, and now we found another one that is in the riffles out here. Also impossible to see it with the camera. Uh, it's also impossible to see it with the bare eye. We just see it when it moves. But I'll try to film it like okay, this. Okay, I'll do it four faster just to calibrate, okay? Yeah. Oh, A lot more to the right. To the right? Yeah, okay, we'll try. Okay, I need to go. Bra, good, good, good. Let's see. Come a little too short, I think. Okay. Maybe, let's see. I see it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got it. It's huge. Walk back, walk back, walk back. All right. Just keep going, do that. I think I, I would rather just put the camera away and help you. Yeah. I like that more. So this time it was a success. We ended up on the opposite side of the river, but the fish is in the net. It was a horrible fight with a lot of rocks and close close calls to breaking it up so for some some reason the fish in this river is way stronger than what we've been used to from New Zealand so far could be that the water is cold and the fish are healthy do you want to hold it up so we can see it just a little bit Just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's quite a cicada trout. That is a cicada trout. <laughs> really? The colors. I think here. it's so cool how it shifted from being like the dark spots here and more brown and then the golden yeah. gold bar here. Time to oh, let I needed go. this. So bad. The three kilo dry fly trout? The three kilo dry fly. You should have seen the head. Ah. I think it's on the... I filmed it. <laughs> yeah, you maybe did. True, we can right. zoom into it on the film and maybe All right. yeah, let it go. Go back. It's so feisty. Damn, Ooh. what a feisty fish. That was the strongest we had so far. Yeah. Nicely done. Oh, let's go and catch some more. And on that note, which actually was a very beautiful note, we went and caught another one. We didn't get to film it just because we... We're unsure if it was a fish or a rock, but we have learned that we should cast on any kind of rock that looks like a fish. And this time the rock just moved from the bottom and raised to the surface and took the cicada in the most beautiful way. No! Come on, come on! Oh, damn it! It's gonna go down, it's gonna go down. Don't go down. There's so many rocks. Awesome! Woo nice fish, Vivian. So we will weigh the fish. Four oh two, four oh three. So uh, three point seven. Three point seven. It's a new personal best. Personal best. We have the same. <laughs> yeah, we are now the same personal best. Damn it! I'm no longer the record holder. <laughs> Now 
perfect time to get this beast back to where we Such came from. Such a big fish. Yeah. They're massive. Look at him. Oh, it's so ready to go. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Oh, what a feeling. Yeah. What a way to just say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and my glasses are all full of water. Whoa. Fish with an attitude. Fish with an attitude. Wow. I was cool. Let's too bad, go. too bad we didn't film the take. That yeah. could be amazing, but you know it will always be imprinted. Yeah. In our we memory. will not forget it. We will let's not go it. further upstream. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So this morning I started by saying that we saw a couple of hikers and two tents that we hopefully or that we hoped were hikers. But now we can see that they're not hikers, they're fishermen. Because and of all the tracks. Yeah, they're tracks and the fish we've seen, they have been spooked or they didn't want to eat whatever we tried. Yeah, they're not them. reacting. Yeah. So we're thinking about heading back and maybe sit a little while by the pool where we fished earlier this day. They will probably be spooked there too, but yeah, but why not? Yeah, why walk up here when it's already fished? Yeah, too bad, but let's head back. We've had a great day, even though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got to our one and a half kilometer now, one kilometer of river to fish today. Yeah, that was unfished, and I think we did well. Lost the biggest ones, but yeah, it's always like that. Home sweet home. Are you ready for another ice cold night? No. I don't think we've deserved an ice cold night. <laughs> a frosty night. Okay, new day, new possibilities. Our backpacks are ready. Yep. The tents tent is taken down. The landing net is on. Today we're gonna do some exploration. Check out the lower section of this river. So, uh, hope you will enjoy it. Last effort of this valley. We have uh, been driving for an hour or so from where our car was parked. And now we will try a lower section of the river and hopefully we will get some more action let's see let's see okay we have some big news we've seen a huge fish like i don't know how big do you think it is over five kilo yeah no yeah over five over five i think so um and there's no footprints here, which means that it probably hasn't been fished for in a long, long time, which is good. We've seen some movement, so we think it's eating. It's moving quite a lot. Yeah. It's standing uh, in the current here. And we really want to have a cicada on its head. But the wind is terrible very very terrible so Webern will have the honor of catching trying. this catching no no trying catching you're catching this fish so we we're staring at the fish it might be a salmon I don't know really because it's too to me it looks but it looks golden okay but golden salmon. yeah and it looks too big to be a trout really please answer the question Webern let us know the answer. How big it is. How big it is. And if it's a salmon or a trout. But it's really, really feeding. Yeah, it's moving a lot. The, what makes me concerned is that sometimes I could see the tail, the side of the tail. Yeah. That could be that it rises a little bit in the water. But it kind of horribly a lot reminded me of a salmon digging the gravel. But it's too early in the season for that anyways. Oh, for spawning? Yeah. Okay, I will go down here. Yeah. And I'll try to make it all the way oh. up there. Oh, 
It's insane man, when you see the shadow of it. I don't know if I even can film it here. I'll try. We have some breaking news. Oh, I'm upside down. No, there I am. It's do, what? Do, it's two fish. There was a a smaller fish that went down below the big fish, and in that moment, the big fish rose, and it's huge. I can see it now in the shallow area. Man, it's huge, and it rose and it's rising again. What's going on? Hey, Bjorn, what is this? I don't know. It's so big, you, you have no idea of how big it is. Oh, it's going for... Bjorn, you just have to get... Is it a long lens fish or not? No. Okay. Keep an eye on the fish. I can't see the big... Okay, I can see the big fish. How was that? It's coming in, the big fish is coming in. It's mowing down. Oh, it's coming after the fly? No? Is it? No. Okay, careful. It might have been spooked. It might have. I'll go for it where I see it now. You go for it now? Yeah. Okay. Did it take it? No, it's, it's not eating. The big one went away and the mystery of what it was and how big it was remains. However, the smaller one was still left and I had a shot at it with the cicada but it showed no interest. Okay, so the big one went into the current and is hiding but there is yeah Clad there is another fish where everyone has a nymph on it followed it yeah it. okay good oh it's going into the cave oh I can see it Just going up in the current. Probably been hooked before knowing. Mm. But it is skinny. It was super skinny. Uh, it looks very skinny. Ah, that's uh, not good. That's. Ah. Huh. That was a bummer. Skin. But you got it. We got it yeah. after a long session. Oh, but super skinny. Too oh. bad because it's quite a large. It's long fish. Fish. Huh. Hmm. Okay, it's out. Okay, I will just show it like this and I'll yeah. let it go. That's how it looks like. Yeah. Too bad. Too bad. But maybe we will be back for the king of the pool. Yeah. We have to. We have to. Yeah. Because the other one is. You can tell that that is a huge fish. Yeah. Like a tank. But as soon as we put on the nymph, should I show the nymph? Show the nymph. We have 20 seconds left of filming. All right. We know the secret weapon until next time. Yeah. And I think if you only have 20 seconds left... 10. 10. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you on the next one because now we're heading back to the car and to the hotel. Bye bye. See you.
Oh, it comes out? 